Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a logic through which we will be able to determine uh, whether our target actor is inside the viewport or not. In, the, in our uh, case, the target actor is that cube and right now that cube is inside the viewport. So you can see true here. As soon as I move that cube outside of our boundary, you can see it's false. Now it's again true. If I move, now it's again false. And now if I move from the left side, again it's false. And on the bottom side, it's again false. So it's working fine. And let's jump into the tutorial to see how it works. Let's start. First of all, I have already created a third person character. Uh, you will get it when you create an empty project with third person template. So in my case, I have set a name BP Blueprint TPC third person character actor in viewport. So for this tutorial, uh, so first of all, we need to create a actor, a target actor on which we want to see whether he is, uh, it is inside our viewport or not. So BP um, actor uh actor uh sorry actor in view up, up board i'm writing this name because i have uh i'm working on tutorials so when i work on all tutorials or more number of tutorials i will upload them on the drive so you can have access to the project files that's why every tutorial has different folder and i am setting a name according to that so we have created our uh actor target actor so let's add a simple static mesh cube inside and that's it and now we have to create a widget blueprint so wp uh, actor in i know it may be confusing but uh, i have to take that it is as it is so i have so i can identify uh, which file is uh, relevant to which tutorial okay so first uh, canvas panel So let's first check, uh, let's add that widget blueprint in a viewport. So let's create a uh, create widget first, create widget and then So it's working. So now, if we want, uh, if we want that, uh, if we want to know that whether this target actor is in our viewport or not. So first of all, let me place this here. So if we want to know that this, uh, that one, VP actor in viewport is inside the viewport or screen or not, we have to uh, give the reference of this actor into our widget blueprint. So you can get reference in many ways, but uh, I think the simplest way will be by cost to click. 
ठीक है बीपी टारगेट एक्टर रेफरेंस ना सो नाउ इन साइड आवर विजिट प्ले प्रिंट वी हैव रेफरेंस ऑफ आवर टारगेट एक्टर सो ऑन इवेंट टेक सो फॉर दैट फॉर दिस पर्पज वी हैव टू यूज अ नोट प्रोजेक्ट वर्ल्ड टू स्क्रीन सो बेसिकली दिस नोट कन्वर्ट्स थ्री डी वर्ल्ड पोजिशन लोकेशन ऑफ ए थ्री डी वर्ल्ड पोजिशन ऑफ ए टारगेट एक्टर टू टू डी स्क्रीन स्पेस पोजिशन सो गेट दिस रेफरेंस एंड गेट एक्टर लोकेशन now this node will convert that world location of that actor to 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 the screen space position so we want what we want to do is we want to know whether this actor is inside our viewport so viewport from left to right is x and top to bottom is y so when that box goes out of the viewport it means um uh, it is outside the boundary of our viewport so when it gets into the boundary of our viewport we can see it so how we can identify and determine whether this is inside our boundary of the viewport or not for that we I have to do a very simple maths so in our viewport that point is uh x here is 0 and y here is 0 and in our case as it's a 19 uh, 1920 by 1080 so here x and uh, value of x and y is 1920 and 1080 so if uh, our target actor is inside that viewport it means uh, the value uh, way outside from there should be greater than 0 so let's get as so we are getting a viewport size we are getting our viewport size here and if the uh, if the value coming out of here is greater than 0 it means it lies in our boundary and less than uh, viewport size so our maximum viewport size for this case is 1920 by 1080 so it means if the value is less than 1920 by 1080 and it's greater than 0 it means the target actor is inside our viewport and if the value is less than 0 and is greater than 1920 and 1080 or whatever your viewport size then it means the target actor is outside the viewport so we will to and put in and boolean gives output when all uh, when all of the inputs are one if any of the input is zero here it will give a zero here so now if our output uh, position here 
is greater than zero and is less than uh, maximum uh, our viewport size then this will give a value of true it means our target actor is inside the viewport let's make a, a text here to see clearly So now let's check it. So right now, our uh, the target actor is inside the viewport or inside the screen. So we are getting a text of true. Now if we move now, we are getting false. It means our target actor is not inside the viewport. So let's check all the boundaries and it's working fine. But it's working perfectly. So, and that was a tutorial about how to determine actor is in the screen viewport or not. So, I have uh, created some other tutorials about uh, tagging and untagging enemies and also about off-screen indicators in which by using same methodology and node, we can identify whether our target enemy is in, uh, is out of the viewport or not. If he is outside of the viewport, then an icon with a distance will appear and will tell us the position of actor. So you can follow those links tutorials also. Uh, I will put a, uh, put links to those tutorials in description. So in the next tutorial, we will do some other gameplay mechanics. Till then, Allah Hafiz.